remember, you're coming in with that hand and you're rolling that one over. And we talked about kind of crossing the arm, right? So we tee the arm, giving him something to think about here, right? Okay. We move into that position and we get into that disarm, okay? And so what we're really talking about here is we're taking that knife and we're crossing our body, right? It's running parallel to us right now, which is cool. And I've got that hand underneath. It's very important that everything's kind of on this line because you'll get more pressure. If I'm kind of already here and I'm pushing, I, I just have like maybe an inch, you know what I mean, to get that extra pressure, okay? But if I hold that line right there, the nice thing is I'm just, I'm cupped in against the flat of the blade, all cool. Remember, patting the thumb is good and that thumb is driving into that, okay? A lot of the Filipinos are known for having like a really long thumbnail, both for like eye gouge and everything, but also just for like being able to dig into spots and hit those pressure points really nasty, okay? So when I go to this one and I'm peeling, my goal again is to go back to that jar concept, okay? I'm trying to take this hand and put as much pressure as I can right here at the hilt of the blade. That goes against the two digits that basically, if you've ever done like the rock climbing thing, you know, to strengthen your grip or, or anytime you're trying to grab, you're like, those two fingers are so weak, right? Mm -hmm. Compared to these three, okay? So we want to push that blade against those. And even, even just pushing with my finger, look how much space gets into that spot right there. That makes sense? So that's the sweet spot, okay? All right, so we wanna definitely push against those because they can't hold as much. And then we're thinking about, hey, where this line is, that's the most open spot. So I'm gonna push against that, and look at that. Just pushing with my finger, I can fit a whole nother finger in there, okay? So we know that's our spot, okay? So I'm in this position, got the padding of the thumb, got that thumb in the metacarpals, and my goal again is to push here against the flat of the blade. As I'm doing that, I wanna increase the leverage point. So as I'm pushing with this one right here, all I want to do is take his hand and turn against that pressure, okay? So as if I was like, oh, I just heard a text, okay? So I just go back to who's, who's calling me, who's messaging me, okay? So I'm just going to look at the palm. Yeah, mom, I'll pick it up. Does that make sense, okay? So it's that easy to kind of get into, it, okay? So again, he feeds that line, boom, I roll it over. There's something to think about. I'm crossing the arm. I bring it down, I get into my position right here, which is cool, okay? Patting of the thumb, thumb into the metacarpals. I'm pushing on that line a little bit right here, okay? And as I push on that line, I'm like, somebody just messaged me. Does that make sense? So just whoop, look at your hand. Most, most people hold it. Yeah, isn't it cool? Yeah. And I mean, it's not as bad as it could be, right? But as soon as I put my thumb in the right spot, you're like, you feel it right in here. Yeah, you feel that separation, right? So it's just, everybody got it? Okay, two more minutes on that one, right? Let's try it, okay?